Hey, what's up guys? Alan here with NVX and today we're doing the amp dyno on our all new NDA 1105 five channel amplifier. We got it all hooked up on the amp dyno already. We're gonna be bridging channel one, two, three and four. So that way they're loaded down so we get a much more accurate representation of the output of the four channels. So you know what you're gonna get. Now we're first gonna start off with the dynamic power and then we're gonna go over to certified so you can see what it does either way. Uh, but you definitely won't be disappointed in this amplifier considering how small it is and the power that you get. After we're done with that, then we'll go ahead and hook up the fifth channel so you can see how much power you get for your subwoofer and so you know where this amplifier stands. So let's get started. All right, so uh, when we run the dyno here, it's gonna look a little odd because like I said, we have it bridged, but those are intended to be that way so you can get a better idea of the power you're gonna get out of it with the channels loaded down. So. Uh, so eight ohms, because it's bridge, is gonna represent what you're gonna see out of this amplifier as if it was hooked up four ohm stereo. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna go to track two. And let's hit start. And I think we should be good to go. Unless I forgot to turn the volume up. No, we're good. All right, now of course there's obviously a difference between channel one and two, you know, that's obviously depending on how the gain is set. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the lowest number, 242, and we'll divide that by two just to kind of give you an idea. So that's 121 watts now. That is rated at 100 by four at four ohm. So we've got about 20 watts more than, than the rating on this amplifier. And let's go ahead and move over to four ohms bridge, which will represent uh, our two ohm rating. Let's reset the track and hit start. And we're looking for at least 150 by four. So it looks like we're sitting around 376, unless that jumps up. All right, we'll take the lower number, 376 divided by two. So we got 188. So we got more than the 150. Now, of course, because it is bridged and that's four ohms bridge, this also represents the bridged power, which the amplifier is rated at 300 by two. So we've got 380 watts roughly uh, that we're getting there if you're gonna use that in that application. So let's go ahead and move over to our certified test. All right, so we got 290 watts and divide that by two, we got 145. So we were only looking for 100 by four. So we obviously exceeded that even certified, which is awesome to see. Let's go back and go to our four ohm bridged, which is going to represent our two ohm load. Um, and we're looking for 150 watts. It's going to restart our track and let's see what we get. All right, 421 divided by two. So 210 watts. And um, we only were looking for 150. So pretty impressive, I would say so. Not only that, but that also gives us our certified bridged four ohm rating, which we're only looking for 300 watts. So that gives us 400, over 400 watts, um, close to 450 watts there. All right, guys, so we just finished the multi channels and now we got our subwoofer channel hooked up. We're gonna see what it does. We'll start off with our dynamic power. Mono and four ohm. So we're expecting 315 watts, if not more. So let's see what we get here. Track one and start. Well, I'd say that did pretty good. 432 watts at four ohms at 14.54 volts. Now let's go to our two ohm rating. This amplifier is not rated for one ohm. Um, so we will stop there. 
let's go ahead and reset this track and hit start. Now we're ex expecting at least 500 watts here. Looks like 667 unless that changes. Of course, this is dynamic power. So 667 at two ohms at 14.48 volts. So uh, about 167 watts more. So that's pretty freaking awesome. And uh, now let's get out of this and go over to our certified test. Four ohm. And we're gonna go to track four on this guy and start. As I mentioned earlier, we're looking for at least 315 watts on this certified test. And I'd imagine we're gonna see that. Yep. 460 watts at 4 ohms at 14.56 volts. And our last test on this amplifier to conclude all of our tests on the NDA 1105. The 2 ohm certified rating. And we're expecting 500 watts. All right, 640 watts at 2 ohms at 14.48 volts. This is a pretty awesome amplifier. Uh, it's tiny, it packs a punch. This would be a great solution for someone wanting to run one amplifier to power their entire system. As you can see, it puts out a ton of power on the four channels and a pretty damn good amount of power on the fifth channel to run, you know, most, you know, respectable woofers that are out there. All right guys, so as you can see, the NDA 1105 performed flawlessly. So there's a lot more details on this amplifier that we're not gonna go over today. So make sure you click the link below so you can check out more details on this five channel. And of course, make sure you like and subscribe this video. Stay tuned for more dyno videos like this.